At first here tonight at 11, stopping the cycle of violence. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And good evening, I'm Katie Houston. Tonight, advocates against domestic violence paused for peace. Alexa Ashwell is live with their efforts in our top story at 11. As you may know, the color purple is the unifying symbol of the fight to end the physical and mental abuse so many endure. Well, tonight, the Greene County Family Prevention Center held a candlelight ceremony to advocate just that. There, one woman shared her remarkable story of survival. A bell tolls 37 times at Shawnee Park Pavilion in Xenia each in memory of a woman who lost her life to domestic violence in Ohio last year. A somber statistic followed by a glimmer of hope found in 24-year-old Ashley, the victim and survivor of an abusive relationship. You come to the end of your road and it's like, I'm either going to, you know, be taken out of this world or I'm going to choose to walk away with nothing. It's not an easy situation either way. Ashley asked us to not use her last name. She says she married her abuser six years ago and remained silent about the physical and emotional abuse she endured up until earlier this year when she confided in a friend. This person said, you know you don't deserve that, right? And so that was my moment of I don't deserve this. I'm, like I had said up there, I used to believe that I'm bad, I'm ugly. Unfortunately, Ashley says the abuse happened again, but this time she didn't allow him back into the home they shared with their young son. Ashley says in walking away, she actually gained everything and encourages other victims to find the strength to do so as well. You will have scary moments of where do I go from here, but my advice is to get out now and lean on your support people and give yourself a second chance at life. And right now, Ashley is going through victims advocate training and says she hopes to one day become a counselor. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.